and welcome to the May edition of this month's experiment at the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego, California. I'm Caitlin Schindler. And I'm Brandon Elliott. So today we're going to be making a salt volcano. Very, very cool. We want to thank the Exploratorium for helping us out with this experiment. Remember, you can find details for all of our experiments on our website, www.rhfleet.org. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what we need for this experiment today. We're going to need some vegetable oil, some regular table salt, a glass jar, or a uh, clear glass of any kind, some food coloring. All right, that's pretty much it. You want to get started? Absolutely. All right, All right we're going to start off by putting about mm, three inches of water, I think, in this jar right here. So we'll go one, two, three. That's, I think that'll be great. That looks good. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and put about a third of a cup, our measuring cup here, a third of a cup of the vegetable cooking oil. All right. And that's going to go right on top, and we're going to watch this for a minute and just kind of see what happens. Ah. So as you poured it in, I could see it being all these little bubbles, yeah. and then they sort of floated up to the top, and now we've got another one that looks like it's ready to go on and float back up to the top there. So the oil is floating on top. These mm -hmm. just immediately spread away from mm -hmm. each other. They do not mix at oil all. And water, oil and water. Know. I love that. Uh, All right. So we're going to take our food coloring, uh, any color you want, we're going to use blue, and just go ahead and add a couple of drops right on in there and see what happens right. to the food coloring when you add it. Okay, it's kind of coming together in these little. Yeah, it's like little balls of droplets, food coloring yeah. kind of hanging out there in the oil layer. Okay, and it's kind of sticking right to the oil, not going into the water quite yet. Not just yet. Well, we can help it along All right. if we want to stir it up a little with a Whoa. stir stick here. Wow. Hey, there it goes. <laughs> Once that food coloring gets through into the water, there we go. You can still see a lot of droplets of the color yeah. still in the oil there. Yeah, the oil and water is still not mixing, but the food coloring is kind of getting in both right now, mm -hmm. it looks like. Very cool. Awesome. All right, so let's see what else we can do with this. So like I said, we've got our table salt mm -hmm. here, and I think something really interesting might happen if we add a little bit of this. Let's All right, see. so let's see what happens. We're going to put it right on in. Oh, cool. More. Look at that. And it goes back up. Ah, it looks what? like a lava lamp. Look at that. Oh, that is really Now, as you're doing this at home, give it a couple of minutes and just kind of see what happens here. Kind of observe what's happening with the salt, what it does to the oil and water mixture. And you can see the food coloring mixing too. Oh little yeah. Little bits of food color that didn't get mixed in before. Yeah, that's really mixing up. So what's going on here? Well, we noticed before that the oil sits on top of the water. That's because it is less dense than the water. So what that means is if you had an oil drop and a water drop that were exactly the same size, the oil drop would weigh less. It would be lighter. So it always sits on top of the water. Salt, on the other hand, is more dense than water. If you pour salt into some water, you'll see it collect down at the bottom. So what's happening is when you pour in the salt, it's taking the oil down with it. And then as the salt starts to dissolve in the water at the bottom, it releases the oil, which causes it to go back up. So that's how you get that cool down and up lava lamp effect. Yeah, very cool. I can see that. It's kind of going back down. It's coming mm -hmm. back up. It just keeps bubbling. What happens if we add a little bit more salt? Ooh, let's find out. Let's see if we can keep, this, keep our lava lamp going yeah. here. All right, get a little salt going in there. And when you do this at home, you can do less salt, more salt, whatever you want to do to kind of experiment at home. Maybe you could try something that's not water. Yeah. Another liquid, see yeah. if it works the same. I wonder, juice or juice? soda or something? Ooh, soda. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder if you did it with soda. That might be cool. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks, Caitlin. And thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next month for this month's experiment. And remember, do, do try, try this at home. home.